Hi, I'm JJ French. Actually, I'm John JJ French. You may know me as the guitar player in Twisted Sister, one of the most successful heavy metal bands of all time. What you may not know is I also manage the band. I own the name Twisted Sister. I'm also a writer. I'm an author. I write for several publications, most notably Inc.com. Why would a magazine like Inc.com, a business magazine, ask me to write about them? Because they love my perception of business acumen through the prism of rock and roll. And how did that all come about? Well, that's an interesting question, and I'll tell you. Twisted Sister started in 1973 and is now 45 years old. We've sold 20 million records, we've played over 9,000 shows, 38 different countries, and we have 37 gold and platinum albums from eight countries. We started out playing to 100 people, we ended up playing to 100,000 people, one of the biggest bands in the world in the 80s. Statistically, no one's supposed to really make it in this business, and I kind of beat the odds. And I did it by reinventing myself over and over again. So I started writing down the things that kind of made me successful, you know, and I came up with T-W-I-S-T-E-D, twisted. The twisted method of entrepreneurial success. The T is for tenacity. Without tenacity, you got nothing, because if you can't continue on when all hell is breaking loose, then you've got no chance. At the peak of all of that work, everything fell apart. Everything fell apart. I went through bankruptcy, and then I was working overnights at a pool hall to make money, and then I started working selling stereo equipment. You wanna talk about humbling, my friend? That is a humbling experience. I came up with, oh, inspiration, because you gotta be inspired. In 2001, following 9-11, Twisted Sister had not been together for about 12 years. I got a phone call from a local DJ who said, if you guys could kind of get together and reunite, we could raise money for the uh, Widows and Orphans Fund for the New York City Police and Fire Department. And even though we had gone through a horrible breakup, word gets out that we reunited. And we get calls from all over the world to headline the world's biggest festivals. And that's what we've been doing for the last 14 years. I came up with stability. Why? Because every successful company has to have somebody somewhere in the organization who's stable enough to be able to control the craziness when things kind of get out of hand. But the playing field in 2003 is not the playing field in 1984. The entire business is changing. People are stopping buying CDs and albums and you can sense that something is going on. Playing was just not enough. We had to figure out ways and income streams to stay alive. T for trust because your partners really have to trust you. They have to trust your vision and they have to trust you financially. We went from being a rock band to a licensing machine. We started to really understand the power of our music, the power of the logo, the power of the image, and we transformed ourselves. Discipline. And you say, discipline, you're a rock and roll band. What the hell is discipline to a rock and roll band? Well, discipline is absolutely everything. We recorded the entire Stay Hungry album, released it called Still Hungry, and we sell those masters to keep 100% of the profit. This is the world we live in. If you don't reinvent, you're lost. Everything is changing. It's changing constantly. And so you have to reinvent all the time. When we started in 1973, we were a heavy metal band. But now we're more than that. We're a heavy metal brand. So you could ask yourself, why should I take advice from a heavy metal rock and roll musician? Because you're taking advice from a heavy metal rock and roll businessman. And I can show you the tools that you can use to make your business successful and to keep it successful by reinvention. Darkness, darkness, darkness.